Hey everyone, Koyo here. So I'm back with now Min Min. We're gonna be looking at Min Min today in SD Hero you know, Ken Densetsu. Just to uh, let you know, um, the first version of Story Min Min only has like two missing supers, and then the, uh, what was it? The second version has all the supers, is a model swap, and you get some different, uh, just different particle effects on these special attacks. Uh, otherwise, not really much of a difference with those versions, so we don't really need to look at them, thankfully. Uh, but let's get right into it as usual. Um, so here's the thing about Min Min. Um, one, she does benefit somewhat from the uh, from the tree medallion. Uh, gives her just a few more options to work with, but she is a slightly flawed character. Uh, let's get into it though. So as usual, we're gonna use the glove, which lets us cancel our techniques and everything and all that, so. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing about Min Min. So her normal attack game, like all of her normals, her buttons are actually pretty decent. They're actually pretty good. She has pretty much balanced stats, just a little bit less than Hayato. Hayato has higher stats, but uh, maybe less combo potential to a degree in the normals game, right? Um, yeah, you know, and she has some good kick uh, kick techniques. She's got two launchers, uh, and then a few that happen within a combo, etc. But she has one big flaw, uh, and that's not really her projectile. Her projectiles, it's okay, but it's it's her supers. Her supers are not so good. Like they are on their own, but in terms of combo potential, you only really have one option because the other two options just don't really work surprisingly um and i remember like this is kind of a rediscovery for me uh so coming back to this and just remembering like oh yeah she doesn't have that going for her, her specials are okay for the most part like her specials are you know you could do things with them you could do things but we'll get into that in just a bit so let's go through the usual normals uh so we do have a full punch combination that leads right into a launcher very simple you might think this character is for beginners mm, yeah yes and no at a beginner level in a casual play yes but at a higher level no she is definitely more intermediate more advanced believe it or not she has this double kick and i'm not gonna get right into the follow-ups just yet because take a look at this state the state he's in uh let's actually open up the combo meter so as you see, he's stunned, and um, anytime you attack, it shows like how vulnerable the character is after whatever amount of attack. So if I do this launcher, you can see the numbers stay until he's completely vulnerable, until he's not vulnerable anymore, right? So if you notice how long that stays around, um, it's like, okay, well, what do I do with this? I can't really, you know, I'm trying to dash cancel it, but the animation is too long, right? However, this is why I'm always recommending the glove. It gives you options, and the fact that there's so much delay, there is so much, like you can even get out a projectile. That's a little bit ridiculous. So this move has a ton of stun, however, as cool as it is, it's, well, actually, there's a little bit more to it. If the opponent is crouching, it actually is a mid. So that will throw off anyone who doesn't know, but then once they learn, they'll learn, right? Uh, her punch combo, also a mid at the end, so... <laughs> She's an easy mix-up character, but then, like I said, once you learn, then there's no issue. Uh, obviously, she has other mids. Her forward punch, like everyone else, will lead into a stun. But, of course, out of that stun, if you need a quick stun that, you know, might not be so telegraphed, then, you know, you could just go for that mid punch and then go for a combo, etc. So, there's some, there's some options with it. There's some options there. However, uh, her actual follow-up from this is to either, you know, hold down and uh, go for a little low sweep. So you could trick the person into, you know, they have to now play the game, right? They have to be stand guarding and then crouch guarding. And guess what? Actually, if we just hold up instead, this makes it easier to just go into the higher variant, right? The high kick variant. Because sometimes you could get a miss input where you don't let go of down fast enough. And by the time you've pressed kick, the full combo animation is going to play out and you're going to get the low version, which could lead to uh, just to actually 
uh, guard from the distance here. Leaves you very vulnerable, and you don't want that. So make sure if you plan on going for the high variant that you hold the up button, because then you know you'll get that version, and hopefully you've 50 50 your opponent. So uh, as usual, she has the high punch and the you know the, the jumping punches, the jumping kicks, you know with the usual basics. However, there's a little bit more to her. So kind of like Pai Chan uh, or Lao from Virtua Fighter. <laughs> she has a punch, 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 kick, and like it's exactly the same type of move, which makes me wonder, I'm like, is this, uh, what was it, this final kick finisher, is this part of uh, a certain, um, what is it, uh, you know, Chinese martial art that, like, because I didn't, I wasn't sure if Ensei Ken or, Ko, uh, you know, Kuen Ken is definitely, I think that's part of the Virtual Fire lore, but Ensei Ken or even, you know, all that. Is it actually rooted in, uh, you know, southern or or northern style uh, kung fu? So, uh, uh, sorry, you know what? let's get back to it though. <laughs> so otherwise, uh, another interesting thing is that is her low kick. Her low kick goes into a full string. Now, some of this might all seem very familiar to you, and that's because yeah, she was in the virtual mode of uh, flying dragon. And then she was only a cameo appearance in the shop in the SD mode. So I feel like it was kind of a missed opportunity not, not to have her in the SD mode because she's such a prominent character. It's Min Min. She is literally the third hero within the Here You Know Ken series. She is the third recruited warrior or maybe the second even. I, I just, well, what is that? <laughs> Why not have her? Okay, okay, enough of my rant. So uh, there's a lot we can do with this low sweep. A lot indeed. Uh, however, we can also go into it from punch, punch, low kick, and you might have noticed a little difference. So one, the low, if you just do the low sweep off the bat, they're lower to the ground. But if you do it off of just the uh, double punch into low kick, you get a much higher launch. However, the last kick misses. Well, that's if you mash it out. Let me just get him out of that state. So if we delay that, oops, okay. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ah, no, I went too fast. But yeah, basically, if you delay that, um, and sadly, you have to input the... Oh, see, you see how you can delay it? If you delay it just right, you can get that last hit. Do you really need to? I mean, you know, it's more additional damage might be the difference between a KO and not. But, uh, you know, will that come into play later? Not so much, especially when you start using the combo. So, of course, we have the forward punch. Forward kick launcher, right? This, pretty nice option, especially when the opponent is, well, actually not when the opponent is crouching, but out of a, you know, forward punch, you could go into a forward kick, and then, you know, go into your different combos. Boom, 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 oh, whoops. We have to delay a little bit on that. You see, if you get a crouch animation on your opponent, eh, it kind of leaves you a little vulnerable, kind of leaves you 50-50, mm, right? Don't want to play with those situations. So we want to make sure to delay get that full damage, right? So, okay. You know, like I said, good normals. I mean, even even going into her punch, punch, punch combo, you can still go for this and get really good damage. So, once again, her normals are pretty meaty. They're pretty nice, they're, they're good. Like she, there's nothing wrong here per se. Uh, even, you know, you can, uh, what was it? Off of the, um, the launch. You can, you, know, you can get some good damage. Uh, <laughs> like, there's not much to say with this, like, you know, once you start implementing juggle punch, you know, like the double dash, uh, I mean, dash punches. You can even do triple dash and go, you know, go ham on your opponent. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then boom, 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 right? So lots of stuff going on here. She is insane with her norm. Without a doubt, she's got a great normal combo game. Then once you start implementing specials, which, you know, you do get some good damage with. There is some good damage here. Uh, let's, I'm just going to show a few things before I talk about the specials, because there's some caveats about these specials and comboing into them, uh, which you don't have too much ways to combo into them out of normal basic stuff, uh, you know. And once again, we're using the gloves, so none of this would actually, you know, you you would probably be going like, uh, 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 dash, and you know, maybe something like that, right? But she is um a little bit 
limited without the like there we go see that's that's a situ and then you follow into the boop 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 boop, boop you know the little spinning cartwheel kicks so you have options as long as you're using the dash but then say if oh i don't know maybe a tournament rule is that no dash infinites then okay she becomes a little bit more limited right so you'd be looking at you know just some delayed punches right or uh Mm, well, no, that doesn't really work, does it? Okay, see, that doesn't work, right? So all you get is your low sweep. Oh yeah, that's right, fun thing about that, watch this. Uh, uh, <laughs> see, I'm showing the combos, and we, we, could get, we could get better than that. Yeah, that's, okay, so is that an infinite? Yes, it, it actually is. I went further, I went up to, I think, 15. So her low sweep is kind of broken, right? Her low sweep's good, actually. I, I actually, like, I don't know what it is, but does she, I don't think she has the same low sweep as Ryuhi. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay. So, you have these options. We can't really go into that out of this. But we could do that. So that means, you know, after we boop, 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 boop. You know, and so on. So it's like, okay, okay, okay. So she's got some options. She's got some things, you know, and we could, like I said, we could combo into it as long as there's no low sweep or long animation. Unfortunately, the high version cannot be canceled into that. So let's actually just talk about her base specials then. Oh yeah, not, neither the sweeps. The sweeps, you can't combo out of that. You can do a weird dash cancel. I'll get into that later. So now we'll actually talk about base specials. I was just showing kind of the pros, but on their own, it's like, okay, we have Ryuhi's little spinning kick, the little tornado kick, okay, you know, and yeah, it's it's good, it's good, especially for even, you know, cancel combos, all that. There's nothing wrong here, right? This is typical, you know, like, your your little counter to their lower sweep, uh, you know, the, the, was it, the low special sweep because they come up quickly, etc., etc. but, so, her forward special's all right. Good approach, gets you in where you want to be. Jumps over lows. Let's show that off really quick. Boom, counter. Of course, he could also land right into it. But with good timing, right? And then, if we use the, the special sweep, right? Oops. I was a little too early. Okay, one, two. Oh, whoops. Hey, I mean, she has a lot. She has a lot of counters. <laughs> okay, but oops. Now I'm too late. I was just laughing too much there. So it goes over, right? Of course, in this case, we want to, you know, we want to be tossing that out before they get the chance to hit us. It's an option, right? So we could use that, right? And then um, what we can do off of this. Let's get back to neutral. So if we press twice, we get a launch. Okay, so it just sends them off. Mm, what, do we, what do we do with that? We'll go into that later. And then if you press three times, they don't get launched, but you do get this little cool combo, which I was showing off. However, it does not chain on the ground, right? So if I try to, I don't know if I'll be able to get them to guard. Oh, there we go. See, they can block it. So. As you see, I, you could see why I was showing that off first in a combo, because it works. But then on the ground, you're putting yourself in danger. See, the funny thing about this move is for that third one to come out, if you don't input it fast enough, you don't get it. So it's a move you must dedicate to, or you could just accidentally get and then you put yourself in danger. So, mm, okay, all right. So what about this up special? You know, I mean, obviously down special is down special. Right? We've seen it on Ryuhi, we've seen it on Hayato. The up special or back special, which is the same, you know, you get this nice little, once again, a good slower approach, but it's still, you're, you're moving in, has some good enough range, right? And really good counter against low attacks, right? We, okay, I perfectly countered there, but. You know, it, it lets us kind of move in 
at the same time while bashing the opponent's face into the ground and as well as leaving them open for our low sweep infinite. So it's not a bad option once again. Of course, you know, it has more animation time, so yeah, no. Okay, so let's talk about her last special then. Like I said, they're not bad, but we're, we're not looking at Ryuhi levels of like insanity, you know, she, she doesn't really go that far. So she has this bouncing projectile. Unfortunately, she has too much animation to chase after it, right? So we can't really run after it, right? Like, let's let's try and do that, right? Eh, nope, doesn't really work out, right? Can we maybe jump in? No, they're not stunned fast enough. So what what is what what is the point of this, right? Maybe, maybe it has some use against say projectiles, right? Let's okay, let's take a look. Oh, not that projectile! <laughs> oh no 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 no! Okay, but this one, yes. Okay, so we can. So, sometimes it doesn't counter, but do you notice something that's happening? Once again, there's a common theme with her specials, and that's that she gets closer every single move that she uses, <laughs> which indicates the type of character she is. She's all about the normals. Just get in, kick some butt. So these specials are really only good for approaching your opponent. Um, do, does the, you know, does the projectile have any use in terms of like, I mean, it's, a, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, I'm gonna defend the projectile, just this once, actually, oh, no, just for, for Min Min, remember, characters that have multiple options, throws, counter throws, uh, you know, projectiles, are able to build into that stat. So this is still incredibly important to have because there's going to be opponents who are going to max out their defense or their throw defense or both. Oh my gosh, God forbid. But having this projectile is the one saving grace for her against those opponents, especially if you're going to main Min Min. So this is necessary. And since it does get you in close, it does give you a chance to use your throw and then just... You know, if you have, because sometimes the, the opponent can be tricky dicky. So you need a way to keep them at distance. Same with this move. They all set up into, like this is very specifically made. Like some of her moves are made for that projectile, right? So there are options for a projectile based Min Min so that you can survive against overpowered CPU, right? So it's, it's there. That's the main thing to talk about. So, but the specials on their own, they're nothing too crazy, right? Uh, they do have some animation beforehand. Your fastest option is obviously this one. Uh, so, now, uh, I'll just show her uh, her counters to punches and kicks. She has the basic little, you know, keto takedown and a little sweep. Set it up into a projectile. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, actually, that's better for following up with a Ford special. But, uh, you know, it's like it's good that she has that because, once again, if you want to go for a throw build Min Min, well, at least you have counter options on both. You have a, a punch and a kick counter, so it's good. You know, she's got her options covered. That's the important thing. But, like I said, she's mostly focused on her normal game and getting into that sweep. Um... But beyond that, like, I mean, actually, if I remember correctly. No, no, okay. But yeah, so that's kind of how she works, right? So let's talk about the supers. Oh boy, the supers. So this is, remember, I said her supers were kind of her downfall. Her, kind of her, uh, not her best thing compared to Ryuhi. Ryuhi has some really, really beefy supers. Like this boy is super boy and special boy. He got, he's got good specials. He's got good supers. He's got good normals. Well, yeah, he's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say as good normals as Min Min. Min Min beats him in normals. I would think to a degree, right? But so we have this close range projectile super. She has options, like I said, and 
Oddly, this can kind of move in closer in some cases. I don't... Or it could be just a weird animation thing. Um, but here's the problem with it. You can't, there it is. See, so sometimes it can move. I don't know if it's like because the background moves. So it causes the move to... I don't know. But this is okay. It's just slow. And it only combos into itself twice. Unless you do this. Ah, see, so if you can get without the dash, you can actually get a super before the dash happens. You can get one frame where it actually hits the opponent, but only for one hit. So it's not too much of a damage, uh, was it, uh, addition to the damage, unfortunately. But, you know, that's something you can do with it. And if you're a projectile min, -min well, uh, your opponent's kind of screwed. So, you know, that's cool. The, the problem is you just, that's your fast, mm, excuse me, that is your fastest way into that super since you can't do it off of punch. Like, there's nothing that will get you into this. So, unfortunately, you're gonna have to only rely on the one option you do have to combo into this. Kick kick. Or forward punch on a crouching opponent. The, uh, the kick kick special, I mean kick, what am I saying? Uh, just the double kick. Uh, without following up, actually uh, lets this one combo. And yeah, you know, you can use it to combo afterwards. So if you hit with it, you know, then it could really punish your opponent. If you're a physical Min Min, if you built into her physical stat, her fire stat, then yeah, you could use this as a little combo starter off of your double kick butter, bread and butter and do all sorts of things with it, right? You know, get it, and then if you have the glove, get in some specials, do all that good stuff. It's not a bad super. It's not bad because you can combo into supers without the glove. So she gets her normals. Once again, it's not a bad super. It's just don't throw it out raw. And unfortunately you can't really combo into it. So don't try. <laughs> just don't try to, I've tried. I've really tried. There is like one way into it, but unfortunately it requires the wood, uh, the tree medallion. So, mm. So let's look at her next super then, her up super. So this might seem familiar, except it ends differently. Kind of might remind you, uh, for those of you who played Flying Dragon, right? It might remind you of uh, Kate from, you know, a uh, little bit, oh my gosh, my, uh, from uh, Flying Dragon virtual mode, right? So here's the thing though. Not as good as Kate, believe me. So if I were, oops, <laughs> wrong one. So if I were to say, Try to get into this. If you get into it too early, like, okay, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the, the kicks might miss. So, you know, okay, do it a little closer to the ground. But then it drops! So, hmm, okay, well, what if I just, I don't know, oh wait, rest right. Even if that does give us the optimal area, it doesn't really. For some reason, let, let, let this, oh. Okay, see, I tried to put it there, but no. So, let's say we, you know, get some dash punches in. Oh, wait, no, it went out of range. Hmm, okay. What about just a single punch? Nope, that that doesn't work either. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, maybe maybe it works off of, like, that move. Oh, yeah, let, let's see if that works. So, if they're already at a certain height, it's just going to drop. That's just how it goes. Can we combo it into it from just the special? No, no, we can't. Because we need as much cancel timing as possible to make it count for the damage. So what's the point of this then? Well, you know, the actual point is that it's a mid. That's the point. That is the point. So, you know, once again, usual double kick. But that's, that's really all you're gonna get off of it. Can it go into say, you know, what, what, what if we use this move? Yeah, I mean, you could use that move. In certain cases. <laughs> In certain cases. Let's, what, what, what about, oh. Oh, d wow, block damage though. Block damage, whoa, I, did, I forgot to test that one. Wait, why is he, what? Okay, that's really odd. Did I just glitch the game? What? Um, okay, this was very unexpected. 
Um, okay, okay, I think I've unglitched him. So let's let's try that again. So Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll get it. Okay, so we can get the optimal height for this move off of that special, yes. So like super into super. So mmm, kind of seeming seeming like a meter burn girl. Oh whoops, I forgot to like I was gonna double up on it. I think it should work from memory. Yeah, yeah. So, meter burn girl. Okay, and see, big damage. This is just base stats, no additions. Nothing at all, base stats. So, okay, that doesn't seem too bad, right? I mean, once again, lots of meter burn. But, 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 we still have two other supers. One, she could heal herself. So, okay, now she's Elena from Street Fighter 3. All right, cool. <laughs> cool beans. Um, yes, you can combo into this. Of course, he wouldn't do it that way because of the long animation. So, you know, just launch him upwards. There. Uninterrupted heal. Good job. That's actually a better use for your meter, especially, you know, low health, all that. Uh, when you're in that situation. So, mm, ooh, wow, that's kind of mean. But, but let's let's get a little better than that, right? Let's let's look at her, her final super. Let's look at the good one. You know, it's totally not Gen from Street Fighter Alpha, right? You know, you know Gen. Oops. But yeah, this is um this is your option. Oops. I think we could do it off of high. Oops. My bad. I I think. I can't remember. No, we can't. But uh we can certainly now <laughs> this is a fun discovery. So I'm gonna go into this little weird like dash cancel mechanic she has off of this. So you're not trying to get the dash. You're trying to get before that. You're trying to somehow really buffer out the last frame off of punch, punch, doot, doot, doot. So this doesn't work up to the third kick. You might have noticed she had a little bit of a like, mm, you know, she's just kind of staggering over there, right? So this only works up to the first two kicks. So oops. So the first kick or the second kick, you see how it could just almost dash instantly off it, right? So what we're trying to get, oops. Oh wait, well, okay, it does work in juggles too, but I should just demonstrate it as is. This works, this works. It's just the timing is really rough. There we go, got it. So I think this costs two meters, but hey, we're doing better than three meters. We got really close to that damage for just two. So just imagine what we might be able to do with that, right? You know, maybe get some uh, juggle juggle stuff in, ba 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 ba. You know, get little triple punches, right? So, uh 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 uh. uh. Oh, whoops, my bad. Really good damage though, but oh uh, no no no! I was trying to buffer out everything in there. I was like, just give me the earliest frame possible. But uh, if we input the dash, let me just. Let's take out the dash cancel stuff so I don't get so super excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm about to do it. But then I get, yeah, a little crazy there. Yeah, but you, you kind of get what we're going for here, right? She has this really cool option that she could play around with. Really, really tough to do. So maybe there's some like feeling of gratification off of pulling it off. But it's, it's kind of. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't, I just can't. I'm not, I'm not amazing. I'm not as amazing as... Mm -mm -mm. This does kind of show how tough it can be though because everything is input ahead of time. So it requires a lot of discipline. Something I don't really have, especially in the timing department. Oh no. That was almost it. Oh! No, the dash came out! But see, if the dash didn't come out, that might have worked. It could be wrong. That could have been done with the tree medallion because the tree medallion actually gives you a launch off of that technique. But regardless, that is that is the, probably the best option you could use, especially 
unless you get that, which is fine. That's also fine, unless you have full HP. But that's prob probably the best option that you have just out of air jungles, this option right here. Good damage, cost two meters, but you know, it, it works. So that is Min Min. Uh, I'll just quickly show her tree medallion kind of stuff and then we'll call it there. So I'm just gonna go into the second Min Min just to show that she has different particle effects. And then, yeah, so let's put on that tree middle. Boom. So now she has yellow effects on her specials, but that is, uh, her projectile does not change them. <laughs> Um, but of course, yeah, with the tree metal now, so it's like, okay, obviously, you know, uh, up to like four or five launches, right? Yeah, five. So, essentially, it's like we could do that, and then, you know, we're, we're allowed to even further extend our combos without dash cancels, right? And get a lot of damage. Um, and, oops, I meant to do punch, punch, low kitten. I'll show what that effect looks like, essentially. So it's like, imagine you, boop. Well, actually, you don't have to imagine, you're seeing it. Mm, uh, 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 uh. So suddenly they're higher in the air. I think I did this with the tree metal. That, that must be what I was remembering. Uh, uh, uh. Without the dash cancel. There we go. So you get some options to really butcher your opponents, um, especially just that works. Or even, well, one of my new favorites with this is that. But we can't cancel off of, we can't really get off of that one. Um, not unless we really, oh no. Oh! Oh my, uh, okay, that's a new discovery. <laughs> you see why I like that one? <laughs> but, you know, boop, boop, and then, you know, Catch them on the way down, or even, uh, oops, that was supposed to be a single kick. Ah, a single kick for some good damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I'll just do it off of punch. Oops, that was not, wait. Oh, I, that's right, that's why I was doing the, mm. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So. You, you get more options with the tree metal. It really gives her a lot more options, well, into the same one super, or... Wait, how did I do this one? There there was a trick. oh, okay, wait, wait, I think, no. no I don't feel, I feel like it was a different move. I don't remember this one too well, but... Oops, it could have been that, it could have been that. That was the option I kind of found. No, it wasn't. That move. I, s I swear there was a way into it, though. Was it no, it wasn't that. Ah. Mm. Was it a dash cancel? No, it wasn't. There was a way to get them just high enough, but I might be thinking of the other supers. But you kind of get the point. Tree Metal gives you more options to play with but not really more options to get into her existing supers. Like, it, it sort of can work in some pedigree, but I wouldn't count on it too much. It just gives you more options for the one super that really does work. And that's right, it does give you more options to play around with to get into those different specials as well. But not into supers as I've just proven. But yeah, you know, you could play around with that more essentially. And all that, you know? So, eh, just something to play around with, but uh, how would I rank her in terms of the other characters? Like, like I said, she's got a really good normal game. I mean, just imagine her damage would, uh, fine, show not tell. I'll show you really quickly. Let's, let's put, you know, let's give her some, <laughs> some physical stats, just really boost those up. Oh my, this is gonna be hilarious. She's not even gonna have, this is no cancel glove, no tree metal. 
Just... Yeah, obviously the opponent won't have this low kind of stats, but... It's just the potential she has, especially with those kicks. Oops. Don't even talk... Don't, let's not even talk about what happens with this, I'll just show. Oh no, but I suck at showing. But you could already see the damage. Um, it's very big compared to just tossing out punches. So once you start throwing in those kicks, she's uh, a force to be dealt with. Like this. So... You know, that might give you a good idea how it even affects her supers. Uh, she does have some projectile strength on her too, so we could I could show that off. And then of course if you juggle that the second time, they're dead, right? Or even... Uh... <laughs> so just just boost her physical stat. <laughs> or her projectile stat. Watch them watch them just all fall. And uh, just, yeah. That that's Mimin. She's she's got she's got good normals. She got really good normals. Supers, eh, you know, the, the one, and then and then the specials are all right. <laughs> but I guess what maybe compared to Hayato, mm, let's say they're about even almost. They they have their strengths in their own different ways, and then Ryuhi is kind of that in between that just kind of excels over them. But regardless, I hope you all enjoyed that. So make sure to. Uh, stay tuned for more <laughs> in the future. Hope, hopefully enjoyed that in-depth analysis of Min Min.